Already this has been uh, this year, late spring, first part of summer has been hotter than where we were this time last year. Again, Waco only had one 100 degree day so far. And again, they've already had over 10, I believe. I've already lost count here. Eight in the last 10 days, that's enough. 103 right now, dew points in the 50s. I told you yesterday some drier air would move in and that drier air could heat up a little bit more. A little muggy in the Bell County area, but dew points in the lower 60s, not that humid. Allow temperatures a little bit warmer. 101, one of the warmest days in Temple so far this year. This is this, this is tied the warmest temperature back on June 22nd. Waco hit 103, so now we've hit 103 twice in McLennan County. Some nasty air here across Central Texas. This is the hottest day across all of Central Texas, seeing the triple digits spreading east of I-35 for the first time so far this uh, summer. Scatter showers and thunderstorms off towards the north. Most of this stays north. You see it starting to make a little easterly turn there. Likely we'll see a little outflow uh, come out of this, a little cold pocket make its way to the east. And as we head into sunset and into the evening, maybe a couple showers and thunderstorms to the northwest of us. I think the majority of it stays to the northwest. Let's go hour by hour through the rest of the evening into the overnight. We stay clear as we head into the morning hours. Scatter clouds build in. They only last for a couple of hours. They're out of here. We get more sunshine back in the afternoon, just like we've seen the last several days, and it's going to be another hot one. Same setup where we'll see some drier air work in, and we'll likely see a lot of triple digits, at least along and west of I-35, upper 90s, and some triple digits possible to the east. Heading into Tuesday, pretty quiet. Start to see our next storm system disturbance, I should say, getting closer to us, moving out of Louisiana into East Texas. And as we head later in the day, you start to see some clouds popping up here. Yeah, can't rule out an isolated shower thunderstorm for I-45. May have the better chance. That's on Tuesday. We start to introduce those rain chances, and they'll be lingering for multiple days. So at least we'll have them around. Not a washout every day. Not everyone seeing rain every day, but the rain chances will be there, and we'll take them. Temperatures tonight dipping back down into the 70s. Lighter winds may allow us to fall into the mid to even lower 70s uh, with some clear skies out there tomorrow. Again, very similar to where we're at today with the triple digits. All right, here's what I want to show you. We've got our high pressure bubble over towards the east. It'll be moving west as we go through the day, and I'll tell you right now, there it goes, updating for me. I also have overlaid here lift. This is rising air in the atmosphere where you see the red. That's where you see better lift. Always talk about we need that lifting mechanism. So as we go Wednesday through next Friday, we get one disturbance to come through. We get the reds, better chance to stay to the south of us, but that disturbance comes through, and then we stay in this flow. You get clockwise uh, motion around these high pressures. The dome stays to the north of us, and along the southern periphery, we're going to get these disturbances to work through, where you see, the, again, the yellows, the oranges, and the reds. That's better lift in the atmosphere. We have to have the lift. We have the heat. We have the Gulf moisture. That will give us rain chances. At the very least, it will give us added cloud cover. We've got those rain chances better to the south. The Brazos Valley on Wednesday. We'll be tracking that for you heading into uh, Independence Day. A lot of outdoor plans I know we've got planned for us. But at the very least, extra cloud cover through the middle to later part of next week into the weekend should keep temperatures out of the triple digits. If we can get the better rain chances in too, that'll help hold temperatures down. So very active forecast trying to work its way to Central Texas and we'll keep it updated as best as we can in the coming okay. days. So good pool weather right now, but I imagine this is the time if you have a furry friend to make sure their paws aren't getting too hot on the pavement, yes. they're properly hydrated, Absolutely. everything like that. Yeah, okay. if we struggle right. with the heat, they do too. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks All right. Zach.